Painters. Welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today I have um, new releases from Diamond Art Club to show you. This is going to be part one of a two-part video because I have two weeks worth to show that I just need to get caught up on. And before I get started, um, I have Teslin here. She wants to show you something. I bought her something for Christmas two years ago, and as soon as we tried putting them on her, I broke them because I wasn't looking at the directions, and I did it wrong. And it's been this much time before I replaced them, and she wants to show them to you. She got some skates. They're, it says roller derby. So I guess they're like roller derby type. And then I put some skips stickers on this. And that's her helmet. We got that for her a long time ago to go with the skates. And and I lost the um, gloves and the, and the knee pads and the elbow pads. And I forgot where they were. Oh, they're in her toy box somewhere. So these are really cool because they can adjust. They, they can adjust from size um, 11 all the way up to 2. So she's in... 12 right now so these will fit her for a while and guess what i feel so bad for my sister because she went in a car accident a big bad one and she almost broke her arm yeah she sprained her wrist um we have a fundraiser going on facebook and my other creator youtube creators and some of you viewers and a lot of my family have been very generous in helping out with that yeah, sometimes I put my hands in these so I could look like I'm skating, but it's just my hands. Okay, my turn now. Okay. Thank you for showing us your skates and your helmet. It's almost Alyssa's birthday. Yeah, my granddaughter will be one in a couple weeks here. All right. Ah, it's an earthquake. You are, you are an earthquake. Okay, so I'm going to start. I have three different artists uh, to show you. I have three different diamond paintings from three different artists. And let me, I don't know which one is my favorite. Um, I'm going to show you this first one. It's uh, Sherry Baldy. It is called Dia Geisha Bestie. And this is what it looks like. I've been saying this for a while, but I do need to look it up and try and figure out what it is, why it is that she calls them D D I A, because some of them say that I, I don't know. Maybe maybe the D I A is specific for diamond painting. I don't know. I'm gonna. I do need to do some research and figure that out because it's really bugging me, and I can't find my scissors. I just, I thought I just had them, but now they're like gone. Oh, so I'm having a little difficulty getting this open. You haven't used my tweezers. All right, so this was just super cute. And it's a square, as you can see by the box. It's got the big square on here, so that will indicate that it's a square diamond painting. And I. I hate to say it, but all of them are out of stock now. Um, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> they go pretty fast, especially with the shortage right now. This one has 40 colors with 2AB. It only took six days to get here. I ordered it on May 30th, which is the day these were released. They shipped them the next day, and I got them June 5th. And I hate that I, I can't store them in their boxes because I don't have the room for it because these boxes are just so pretty. Um, let's see. Let's go with the toolkit first. Now, the square toolkits come with the pair of tweezers, which is the only ones that they come in are square because these are good for square drills and they are very sharp and dangerous so be very careful when using them always put your protective cap on them when you aren't using them and they also come with a blue drill pen and they come with a few baggies 
They come with a clear tray, a pen grip, two heart wax, and a multi-placer. This one is a three-placer. Sometimes you will get a six. It is random. And they come in this nice reusable bag. And it does say square toolkit. And it has everything that's in the round toolkit except for the tweezers. And it just says multi-placer. It doesn't tell you exactly which multi-placer. Next, we have the sticker. Dun, dun, dun. So yes, this has 40 colors. I said two AB. On Diamond Art Club, you can tell which ones are AB because they fall in the number line below 150. So number 126 and 128 are going to be our ABs for this diamond painting. And there's a lot of pretty pastels in this. So it looks like it's going to be a very light purple and a light pink that will be AB. I'm going to guess that the flowers over here and over here are going to have a lot of them and possibly here in the neckline of her kimono, possibly down here as well. So we'll see in a minute. Um, 51 by 51 centimeters. It is done by Sherry Baldy. I don't know if I told you that, but these stickers are wonderful. I just take the sticker and I cut out the symbol and the DMC number and I stick it on my container and that's what I go by and then I whatever the container is I'm using I'll take the sticker and I'll stick it on the outside you can do whatever it is you want with it but it is a full sheet sticker and these are just awesome all right so comes in a bag and the more recent diamond paintings will be rolled outward like this, which I have found that it is the best way they could have found to roll them because they stay much nicer that way. And it actually unfolds and unrolls a lot easier. So this one does have some parchment paper in with it. Uh, it's a little weird. Okay, it just folded over, so it's a really big piece. If you want to know how to apply these easily onto your your canvas, um, go check out my video right here. I actually put the, um, it'll pop up in the eye that comes up right here. I actually put the cover onto the diamond painting to show you guys how it's done. And I dropped my drills, so let me grab those. They come with a pamphlet that gives you directions and some tips and tricks and also a discount code for your next purchase from Diamond Art Club. <clears throat> Here are the drills. I will look at those with you in just a moment, but as you can see, they are awesome. Now, if you don't know what an AB color is, I will show you in a minute a little more closely, but you can see that extra sparkle in that. There's the purple. That is AB, but I'll show you up close when we get to the drill portion. So here is Dia Geisha Bestie. So these canvases are made out of tarpaulin, which is a very soft material. And the reason for this material is to help unroll your diamond painting. I mean, look at that. I didn't have to do anything to force it to unroll. I just laid it flat and it's flat. I just unrolled it and there it is. And it also uh, retains the vibrant color of your background. And which is, it's important, especially on rounds, because with rounds they meet up like this. They don't meet like squares, which are most of the time up against each other. But you still have background that shows through. And you're going to want some color that's going to stay. And that's what the tarpaulin will do. Uh, let's see. So we do have a key going all the way down on the top left hand side. And it's also going to be down here on the bottom right hand side. So even if you didn't have your sticker inventory sheet, you, you would still have it on your canvas. The canvas also gives you another code for a discount. It, when you want to place another order. So you will always, if you've ordered from Diamond Art Club before, you will always have a 10% off coupon, always, because it's on your canvas. Um, but there is also your thumbnail down here and it shows you the canvas name and the um, size and the copyright as to who it is that did this image 
and that it's copyright to Sherry Baldy and Diamond Art Club, which is trademarked. And there is the pasting area, the thumbnail. All right, and there is social media information as well as the lifetime warranty of your canvas. It comes with a lifetime warranty and a free missing diamonds protection from Diamond Art Club. You just email them and let them know. So I got that out of the way. So for this, the rest of this video and the next video, I won't need to show you all those particulars about the canvas and uh, about the company. But it is important for people to know that kind of stuff, especially if this is the very first video they're watching um, and they don't know that information. So I try to get um, over, do it as quickly as possible, but efficiently so that newcomers can still know the information that all of the regular people who watch regularly um, already know. So now that we're on the same page, let's look to see where these beautiful AB colors were, are going to go. So as you can see, if you haven't seen ABs before, what they are is they are a drill that has a rainbow coating on them that glimmers like the Aurora Borealis. And that's why we call that AB because it's short for Aurora Borealis. And they go in certain spots to highlight extra sparkle. And in this, it's going to be numbers one and two that is the code that's on the canvas is one and two. So one is the purple and two is the pink. And as we can see here, it's in this bow in her hair, ones with lots of ones. And here, here and there and there, and even a little bit up here in her hair. Uh, let's see. Where else do we see it? And yes, they are over here in the flowers. We've got one and two throughout these pink and purple spots. They're everywhere. So yes, like I thought, they're all throughout these flowers. Um, so just so you know, on this side is the same thing. The ones and twos are gonna be all throughout. And where else are they gonna be? As far as the dress, let's see, it is covered in ABs because the one is like an outline here and all over here. And then the two, the pink is in these areas where you see pink. So yes, down here in the bottom where there's pink, uh, let's see. A little bit up here in the sash um, so there's some twos right there a couple there um, there over here and then the ones are just all over this cutie I mean it's everywhere her whole kimono has got ones outlined well the inline of it is a one and then the fan actually has a few of the ones as well in there. Here, I'll show you what the drill field looks like. And you can kind of get a glimpse of where the ones are. They're all over this. You can see that. And there's the twos up there. And then in her fan. And then the flowers, you can see there's the ones and twos in there. So yeah, you have got a good mixture of color blocking and confetti in this. Uh, it's actually more color blocked, but the flowers, all the flower areas are going to be confetti. And, but you know, that the, the, the Kimono is kind of confetti, but it's also got good sections of color blocking, but the background is definitely color blocked. Uh, there are, this background is mainly one color, mainly that one blue, but there are clouds that kind of offset it with a different color. And you can see the, the I call they're, they look like knitting needles going through her hair. And, and then the grass, you know, we have different shades of green, but still it's color blocked for sure. All right, so let me set this aside and we will look at the drills. All right, so here are the drills. All right. 
And yes, I am very careful to so I can put them back in the way they came out. Um, all right, so with Diamond Art Club, when they bag their drills up, they do it by volume. And they like this strip right here starts with the smaller amounts, and then it moves on up to bigger amounts. So we will start here. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see them a little closer. So here we go with the tiny amounts, really pretty peach colors. And when we get to the ABs, I will stop so you can look at those a little closer. And there's some more really pretty pastels. And the dark blues, there's only a couple bags with very little in there. But I do believe there's going to be some blacks for the outline. So there's that. And then this strip has the larger amounts. And gosh, the ABs are, okay, this is two different strips. Okay. <laughs> so here is our white color. And then that really pretty light teal. I like that color. It's a bunch of blues. So that's probably going to be our background sky color that I was talking about. And I think that goes, how does that go? I think it went like this. There we go. Okay. And then we have our last strip. Okay. Okay. So this is an AB. This is the pink. So you can see how I can make it go blurry so you can actually see the Oh, I didn't go, I didn't zoom in. What am I doing here? Okay. Now we're zoomed in and you can see them a little closer, but let's get blurry here. It's not getting blurry. It normally gets blurry if I get this close, but you can look and see that coating, that rainbow coating that is on the drills. And they give off an awesome sparkle when the light hits those colors. Let's see if I can get blurry. Wow, when I want it to get blurry, it won't. I am shocked. All right, so here's the other colors. And there's, this is a dark brown. We got more blues that I'm sure blend in with the sky there. And then Love the purple. Thinking that's part of her kimono and her bow. And the green, yes, obviously that's going to be the grassy area. Kind of look here. Right there. And more greens. And it looks like the bag with the largest amount in it is going to be our other AB. Because there's 310. Well, there's two bags of 310s, so that wins out. But look how many ABs are in this purple bag. Look at that. And you can see them. Now I know I can get up really close and you can see it. The AB is really close. When you line them up in a tray, they just look awesome. So... All right, there you go. That is the Sherry Baldy new release that came out on June 30th. And I'm going to get this put away, and then I will show you the next one. And we should be able to get through the next two rather somewhat quickly. So I'll be right back. Okay, our second diamond painting is by Mandy Manzano. It is called the Sugar Plum Fairy, and this is what it looks like. So I had seen this image months ago, like back in January or February, and I told Diamond Art Club, I hope this becomes a diamond painting because <laughs> I love it. And it's just so beautiful. And lo and behold, it became a diamond painting. 
and it is round as you can tell and look how pretty the box is they really made that holographic obvious now that first box you couldn't see it but I really wish I didn't have to recycle my boxes but anyway this one um, okay that first one I showed was $49.99 this one is $54.99 and it's a big one it's 56 by 89 so it's uh, yeah one of the larger ones and it's got 2AB 45 colors and the stuff is stuck at the bottom Here, let me open the bottom that'll be easier oh it's because it was folded in with the kit all right so because these are round, they do not have the tweezers, but everything else is the same. This one has, I'm trying to see what multi-placer it has. So this does have a three-placer in it as well. Everything else is the same. Here is our sticker with our 45 colors. Isn't that pretty? Look at those beautiful, beautiful colors. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. So our ABs are going to be, again, number one and two, because they are below number 150. It looks like they're going to be a pink and a blue color, if you can see there, 128 and 136. So let's open this up and check it out. I'm trying to find where the flap is. Uh, there it is. Look at this big bag of drills. Holy moly. That's huge. It's got the pamphlet. And it does have... It, this one also has the parchment paper in there. Looks like they folded... Or, no, they gave, you, gave me two different pieces because of how big this one is. So, I just... I have it all rolled together um, in one tube. So when I go to do one and I want to use parchment paper, I'll have it and I can just pull off a piece that matches the size. And someone was saying that they think that only the squares come with parchment paper, but I wanted to verify that. And this goes to show that it's most, it's the new ones that are coming with it. But what I heard was they're going to stop putting it in with the diamond paintings. I don't know when that's going to start, but as for right now, they could be in a square, either square or round. It doesn't. Every time I put those over there, they fall. <laughs> All right. This is so big. I'm having a hard time, uh, <laughs> laying it out. So it's like in my lap down almost to the floor. Well, yeah, it's big. Uh, so look at how, I mean, this is larger than life. This is so pretty. And these colors are just stunning. Oh man. So yeah, um, uh, one and two, let's look for those ABs. Um, so we do start off with ones up here, the pink and let's see, there's a little bit more here. It's just highlighting. There's more over here and more up in here which i think is part of her hair decoration so yeah the pinks there's a, a few there's two different pink colors here but there's one here i'll just show you so you can see the drill filled as well see there's the one in there and i haven't seen the twos yet but you can see there's more ones in her hair that the other part of the hair thing right here so there's more up in here and there's a lot of ones over here in this section in the pink area that goes around in here and more here over here over here 
and um, let's see any on this side there's not as much pink over here but as we go down a little further there's gonna be some pinks there's some ones here I'm still trying to keep my eye out for the twos um, I always like to check the eye because if the eye color is the color that they do the AB in then a lot of the time it'll be there but it isn't so we've got more ones down here and I think this is part of her tutu it looks really big and these are her wings back here but there's more ones and right there and there's some ones in the inline of the dress and if you don't know Mandy Manzano and how she does her art she always does a stained glass effect on her images so you can see the stained glass in the skin how it's stained glass and the dress the tutu the wings it's all got the black crack crackling sections because that's her stained glass that she's known for so but we do have more ones back here in the pink the pink back here um, looking for those twos um, it's got a red number two in the middle of a blue background so let's see what we can find we've got more ones coming in through here and here um, not so much over here because this is more of red but we got, you know, a little bit out here in the tutu area. Um, a little bit here. And seeing some blue, but not the blue we're looking for. I'll try to get the whole image and show you it all at once here after I'm done scouring to see where we can find our ABs. Uh, see, we've got a little bit more right here. We've got a little bit more of the ones here and here as you pick up more pinks. And there's more pink in here and here. I'm not seeing the twos yet. I'm, I must be blind. I probably am because I, I didn't see any twos. So let me go back up through here. Maybe it's just a small, small area. I remember it's a red number two, but with a blue. Okay. I don't know if this is the only spot, but I see right here, right in this corner. I just showed you this spot. I was right next to it too. See the red number two with the blue? It doesn't look like there's a lot. It might just be that spot, but that's odd. They don't normally do it on something that's just going to be in one tiny little spot like that. But I'm not seeing that, that color anywhere else. Um, just trying to look over it one, one last time to see if I can find it. But... I'm going to say it is not anywhere else. If you te if you find it anywhere else, let me know. Uh, but as far as what I can see with my preliminary glance, I don't see it anywhere other than that one corner. Wait, there's one. One right there. See the two right there? <laughs> so... It looks like there's maybe a handful, uh, 20 drills maybe, or more, 30 at the most, of uh, that second one. So the ones are all over. I'm going to turn it sideways and show it to you, zoom it out, and then show it to you with my messy desk. So here she is. I can't even get it the width of it there we go so there there we go now you can see the whole thing she's big but she is very beautiful 
I am so in love with these colors, these pinks and reds. Oh my gosh. And the skin tone just looks really stunning. And the way they have it blended in the face from a distance, it, it looks perfect. It looks like how a face should be. And up close, though, you can see it's got one, two, three, four, five possibly six different shades to get there. So, yeah, wowza. I'll turn it this way, try and see if we can get you to kind of get a, no, it's not gonna show. This is far out as I can go to, but there we go, all the way up. So, yeah, any ballerinas in your life, that just have to have this sugar plum fairy is um, it is sold out it's out of stock I'm sure you can add it to your um, notification restock notification you can go on the I'll leave the link so that you can go to the website and um, sign up to be notified when it comes back in stock but until then uh, yeah, you're just going to have to wait for them to get it back in. Um, let me put this beauty to the side, and I'll be back to show you the drills. Okay. I was just, I on my Echo Show, it shows me pictures from today in the past, and I didn't realize it, but today is the seventh anniversary of Teslin's heart surgery, where she had her um, PDA closed so that she could actually breathe um, without having to be on oxygen. So it's a pretty big day, um, anniversary. And yeah, she was six months old, but she was four months premature. So she was actually only physically, her body was only two months old. So that was... Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know that anniversary is today. <laughs> and I didn't realize it until I saw the pictures because it's been such a long time since we went through that. Okay, there are some, oh my gosh, this looks like a candy store. All those beautiful colors. We do have these two bags of 310. Let me go in close for you guys. All right. Yeah, the blues, there's very, very little. Um, okay, so here is another bag. This was on top. Um, orange and pinks for that tutu. And then the bag, next bag is, oh, so those were just two extra bags of 310s. <laughs> All right, so here is your first bag of ABs. Look at how pretty those are. I'll get you up close so you can see the round ABs compared to the squares in the last one. That's the blue that is that was so hard to find. And here's some of our other colors. And here's another blue I really love. And then we got reds. And that $7.97. Oh. Lots of pinks and peach, peachy, orange, and yellow colors. And then here we go with uh, we have another one, two, three, four bags of 310. So that's six total. And then we have more colors for her dress and lots of white and then this is our big bag of pink AB kind of hard to see the AB coating on these but here I'll show it up close ah, really pretty alrighty and then we have this strip here. There's a skin tone. 
There's a lot of different shades for that. Okay, so there's two bags of this 3609. There's another pretty red color. More skin tones and pinks. Oh, and there's that beautiful 666 right there. Bright, bright red. And more skin tones. All right, so I'll be back. And we will look at our final diamond painting for this first part. All right, our third and final diamond painting for this portion of my unboxing is by Hannah Lynn and this one's called Mother Earth. Here's what it looks like. So as you can see it is around. It is it has 53 colors. As you can see in that picture it is very colorful. So this is one of the most the highest number colors that um, Diamond Art Club has done. And it has 2AB. It's 56 by 76. And like I said, Hannah Lynn is the artist. It's called Mother Earth. And this one is $54.99. It is also out of stock, but you can get notified of when it is for when it is restocked by going to the link I provided for you down in the description box, clicking on it and scrolling down to where it says sold out. And there's a, a bar for you to put your email address in for them to notify you when it comes back. Those are very handy notifications. So I would, if you're interested in any of these diamond paintings you've seen today, I would highly recommend using that feature. Okay, same toolkit and three placer in this one as well. What was that? Oh, it was just the box. And here is our sticker. And I mean, look at how vibrant those colors are. Oh my Lord. It's so pretty. And you can see how it's got night and then day. And you can see the water and earth. You can see the United States. You can see South America. And this makes it look like water flowing in a rainbow of colors. And there's a lake. I mean, there's a lot of detail to this diamond painting. And she's got antler. Um, I don't know. That looks like it might be part of her actual, yeah, body. Is She's got antlers and there's a, a bird's nest in her hair. So yeah, there is a lot to see in this diamond painting. There's the mountains and there's butterflies and trees and water and birds and flowers and a pregnancy. So somebody had mentioned about how um, this was significant of the, the term rainbow baby. And now if you guys don't know, Teslin is a rainbow baby. She's my rainbow baby. Um, Actually, Stephanie is also. Ayla was my first pregnancy. She was my first born. I then lost one and then got pregnant with Stephanie. And then I lost uh, another two more. And then I had Steph Teslin, but it took a really long time for Teslin to be born. But they call a rainbow baby. Um, it's when it's a baby, a successful um live birth of a child after a loss. So it's like the rainbow that happens after something devastating. You are blessed with a rainbow. It doesn't always happen for some people, but fortunately for us, we got Teslin and yeah. So this, this is very significant of that saying of the rainbow baby, because that's my Teslin. And I don't remember who it was that said it, but they had commented on the sneak peek post that Diamond Art Club had put on their, their Facebook page. And when I read that, I was like, oh my gosh, that is just so true. And then looking at this and seeing all these colors and the rainbow, I mean, it's a rainbow of colors. It really hit home with how true that is. So thank you, whoever it was that made that comment. 
that just really made this a personal image for me as well. So yeah, here is all the information. The D, the AB colors are going to be the white, which is number two, and number 136, which is going to be a blue. So let's dig in and see where there's, those are going to be. Another big bag of drills. I can feel it. And here's our instruction. And this one does, ha it also has the parchment paper. Again, click on the eye up here in the corner and you will find the video if you need to know how to put this parchment paper on your diamond painting. I give you do it on the diamond painting spirits that I unbox. And that's going to fall. I know it. So let's bring this down here and start checking it out. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is a confetti. This is definitely confetti. Uh, you get a little spots of uh, color blocking in the, the sky. You know, you've got some small areas up here to color block, but you know, and then here, but then once you get into this area, and there it goes especially over in here it's very very confetti so you got like I said there's a lot of detail to it so if you like confetti you're gonna love this especially in her hair there's a lot of color changes so for those that don't know what confetti is confetti is where it's like confetti because when you throw it there's all sorts of different colors and that's what this is. There's a lot of changes in colors. You're not going to be able to just pull out one color and sit here drilling for an hour because there's a lot of that one color. You're going to be changing colors every which way to Sunday in this section. But like if you take a small section and work on it like this right here, you're going to have four colors, four or five colors that you'll be able to do a bunch of one and you can use multi-placers and then you can go on to the next and the next and the next. But yeah, for the most part, this is, is, uh, confetti. It's a confetti heavy, very confetti heavy image. All right. So let's see where these ABs can go. I see twos up in here, the white. So those are stars because this is the night side and then it moves over into the day. These P's over here are not AB, just the twos that are speckled right in here and there's more over here around the moon inside the moon there's a lot of the number two and number one is the blue and you find that all around here going up through here around this star one there um you've got more going on over here and then there's more twos and you're gonna have uh let's see where did i see it this is going to be really hard for me to catch these colors because so it looks like it's a darker blue so that's why we're going to find it in the night sky over here uh we do have more of the number two the white in the white of her eye in the section right there of her eye all of that white and I'm, I'm thinking that on this, the ABs, when you go to place an AB, it's going to be a surprise because there is so much going on. And I more than likely probably am going to have a really hard time catching where they all are. Uh, there's some twos on the, the snow on the mountains here and the clouds. There's more in the cloud here. A little bit there. And... Let's see, we do have some in the waterfall, the number two. So the number one isn't in that water there. Like I said, it's going to be a dark blue, but we do have it here in her dress on the sleeve of her arm. Well, that's where a sleeve normally is. 
but yeah so there's some ones in there but I don't yeah there is some in the actual chest area of her dress and let's see yeah down in here too the world has a little bit well her belly has a little bit there's one there there's a couple there and there's more here so they're sporadic throughout but there's a lot of twos so the the belly world globe has a lot of two ABs and it is um, littered with a few of the blues around the outside edges in some of the highlighted areas and same same for going down here the rest of her dress down in this section you see some ones which is the blue and let's see there's some twos going on in the water this this part that's kind of like looks like falling water so it we got a lot of that going on here so there's actually a lot of ABs going on this image over here the swan is AB but not the ducklings the goslings geese geese swan the duckling whatever they're called they are not AB because they're gray like they should be when they're babies and then we but we've got more of the twos here down here in the bottom of the water over into the corner um there are some ones going on right in here and there we've got more coming over in this area of the water I'm trying to get her to stay up so yeah, you've got more ones coming here. I just hit um, a new clip. I couldn't remember when my clip resets. So now I know it's at 28 minutes. <laughs> All right, so that just kind of distracted me because it popped up on my screen. Anyway, we have more ones here and more here. So there's a lot of ones going on down in here. One, a lot in the dress and the twos, a lot of, of the white number two going throughout her dress. But then we have over here in the flower area, I wanted to point out because I did see that we have some of the number one, the blue color. I saw them up in here, up in this area. So I think these are rocks. And so the base of the rocks have an AB color um, edging and this is probably the hardest area for me to look because there's so much going on there are more two more ones the blue over here and a little bit here but I don't see the white in this section at all so yeah there's not any white going on in this area but there's a lot of twos scattered I mean not twos but ones the blue scattered throughout this different sections where you see blue so yeah this is extremely colorful and it it will take me a long time to do it because of the color changes but it's gonna be so worth it to see the the end result of this it is just absolutely beautiful and I'm going to turn her sideways, try and get you to see the whole uh, 56 by 76 by zooming you out. So there we go. There she is. So pretty. There she is sideways. And then if I try turning it this way, I might be able to, yeah, if I got it curved up. You can kind of see the whole thing. Not really. There. Sort of. You can kind of see her face. <laughs> but, yeah, there you go. There she is. And you can see that little bird's nest up there with the little baby birds. So cute. So, yeah. Mother Earth is what this is called. And now I will show you the drills and we can wrap this up. 
All right. Okay, so we start off with some greens. Mother Earth. You can't have Mother Earth without the greens. And uh, how are these open? There we go. Okay. So our first strip is our smalls. I'll go in for you. There we go. Little tiny bits of colors. Now this one has couple hijackers in there. Got a purple and an orange. No idea where they came from. But generally, if you are running into this where you don't want to waste drills and you're finding that there's a bunch of extras in there, like this has like three different colors in addition to the original. Most of the time, what's mixed in there is the color right next to it. But this looks like this machine must have been going really fast because things were flying everywhere because there's orange and a dark brown and a blue in with this. And then this one has one of these. So that's what I do when I'm kidding up. I will go in order like this. And that way I can take the drill that was left that flew into this one and put it back in with the one it belongs to. Normally it doesn't happen where there's a bunch of different colors in there sometimes, but not very often. But anyway, that's just a little tip that I do myself when I find a color. I when it's Diamond Art Club, I don't know about other companies, but with Diamond Art Club, that's normally how it goes. This time, it's something really weird is going on because this one that's in here does not match the color of that drill right next to it. So I will probably just put them aside or toss them because I'm not going to sit there trying to figure out what color they go to. But anyway, here are the colors really beautiful I mean and there's 53 colors so we're gonna have some of these colors where there's just a tiny bit and you're not gonna see them but in maybe a couple of spots a lot of these colors are gonna probably be like that and because this whole thing has just a little bit like even 666 there's only a little bit of red not too much and um, I never worry about doing inventory because if I if I don't have enough or there's something missing, Diamond Art Club is exceptional about giving you the drills that you need when because of their um, their lifetime guarantee and drill replacements. Like even if you've had it on your wall for you know ten years and you realize, oh my gosh, all these drills have fallen off. Um, you can let them know and they will send you more drills and you can replace those drills that fell off your diamond painting. And here's our next strip. We've got the reds and oranges and more colors that you can see for yourself what they are. But see, like on this one, there's the purples. There's like three purples and they're all this color right here. So that's easy to figure out. And even more beautiful greens. And you know what? Okay, at first I thought I I thought there was no 999. I thought that said 999, but it says 993. There is no 999. There's only 666. That's how you know it's 666 because they're the, this red color here. Where it looks like it says 999, it's actually 666, and you know that because there is no 999. All right, so here's our first AB, the blue. It is so pretty. I love that dark blue AB. So beautiful. And the rest of the colors in this strip. And yeah, I think I showed this side already. Yes, I did. Okay. And then we have our bags with lots in it. Now this is a like neon orange. This is the color they use for the pumpkins. 
the in on the Halloween one. And they actually did it in glow in the dark as well. It might have been 741 that was glow in the dark, but they have both of those colors in this. There is every color of the rainbow in this bag of drills. And these, I mean, look at the most greens, it's orange and greens and blues, and there's purples and every color. There's some more beautiful blues and oranges. And here's your 141 AB, the white. Get up really close. You can see the white the best. You can see the AB coating on the white. Look at that. And here are the rest. There's a beautiful blue and then a bunch of 310s. We've got three, four, five bags of 310. One, two, three, four, five. And then the last two colors in a row. So there we go, guys. That is Mother Earth. And stick around. My next video will be part two, but this, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off at this shipment. The next three will be all from the following week's um, new releases. So I don't know if I said June 30th, but it was May 30th. <laughs> I just thought of that. I think I said June 30th, but it was May 30th, new releases. So um, the next one will be uh, the 6th of June. June 6th, I do believe, was the next shipment. In fact, I've got it written down already. So yes, June 6th. So I will be showing those in my next video. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, if you could give me a thumbs up or a like, whatever you call them, thumbs up, yeah, like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because that will let you know that I am putting videos up on a regular basis. And if you hit the bell, it will notify you when I post a new video or when I go live. So welcome to the Diamond Painting family. If you are new, and thank you for sticking around for those who have been with me for a while. I do appreciate each and every one of you, each and every one of you, even though my tongue can't say it. All right, guys, have fun diamond painting. I will see you in part two coming soon. And don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Mm-hmm.